You're watching Drake Wing Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hey guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming. So you know me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Cilio, Tales of a New Dawn, Brian's Path. I mean, uh, Diego's Path. Anyway, y'all, let's go ahead and jump right back into it, shall we? Alarm Chan, you are up, and let's go. All right. <clears throat> Wait, are you serious? Yep. Accidental small talk and everything. That cunning tiger. I've got to give him credit where credit is due. That's honestly kind of amazing. So, yeah, I guess we have thought out a little. I'd hardly say buddy-buddy, but, well, you know. I'm proud of you, Diego, and I'm sorry. Huh? What for? If I had the courage back then, none of this would have happened. Hey, we talked about this. I know, I know, nobody is to blame, and it all worked out in the end, but still, I, I wanted to make it up to you somehow. You've already more than made up for it. Then I'll find another way to make up for it. Heh, <laughs> can't wait to see what you come up with. Oh, I know, and it might be wrong to say, but it's kind of sweet just how much you missed me. I, I missed you a lot, too. That last year of university just wasn't the same. I guess we both spent a lot of time missing and longing for one another. Yeah. That's mad gay, bro. Hey! <laughs> it's not like I'm wrong. Anyway, I'm gonna go take a shower, wash all this blood and sweat off. It won't be too long. Alright, see you soon. Diego left the room and headed down the hallway to the shower as I reflected on the day that had been, that had been while sitting on the couch. A tie? Most unexpected, although when you think about it, probably for the best considering they buried the hatchet only minutes before the fight began. I was glad they'd come to an understanding. Glad that they'd apologized. All Diego's questions had been answered. Now he could try to move on once and for all. And Ty? I found myself forgiving him despite everything. His methods were certainly questionable, but the outcome couldn't have been better. So long as he kept his word, there would be no more tension between all of us. At least, hopefully. I like Ty, but sometimes, often, he overstepped. I heard the shower start down the other end of the house, and that gave me an idea of how I could repay Diego. Arriving at the door of the bathroom, I noticed Diego had left it slightly ajar. Perfect! It gave it a gentle push, causing the hinges to squeak slightly. Thankfully, the sound of the shower had drowned it out. I could see Diego facing away from me, standing lazily in the shower as the water ran down his body. Using the gap I'd created, I squeezed inside the bathroom and snuck towards the shower, slipping out of my clothing as I went. By the time I had arrived at the glass door, I was already butt naked. I gently cracked the shower door open. Diego jumped slightly, turning around in surprise. Hey, what the... Shh! Here, let me help. I mean, sure, but what's the occasion? I said I'd make it up to you, didn't I? Oh, my God. Well, uh, well, I ain't complaining. I can barely move my arms to wash myself. I grabbed a bar of, I grabbed a bar of soap from the shelf and began working into a lather on Diego's back. Jeez, first the brushing, now this. I'm getting pampered today. Who's calling me? Oh, I don't know who that is. I don't care right now. What can I say? You've earned it. I won't argue with that. Having gotten good coverage on Diego's back, I grabbed the shower head and rinsed his fur off before grabbing some more shampoo, kneeling down and applying it to his legs. I ran my hands up and down each leg, occasionally slowing my pace as I brushed Diego's balls, enjoying that little moment. Next, I moved my hands up, thoroughly washing Diego's butt cheeks and even giving my hands in between. Finally, I stood up and got in close, wrapping my hands around Diego to give him a hug all the while washing his belly and his chest. Man, I could get used to this. I spent a few more moments doing this before my hands gradually drifted downward eventually making contact with the sheath. Whoa, you already have a semi? Damn right, I know what's coming. Then I assume there are no complaints. Heh, <laughs> none. With Diego's approval, I reached, it, I reached around his body and wrapped my hands around the, uh, the wrench, doing some uh, car work outside, massaging it gently and feeling the contents shift within. Hey, I thought you were supposed to be topping this time. Yeah, but I don't have, yeah, but I don't doubt you're much, I don't doubt you're much too sore for that tonight. This... This is just a treat. I love a hey, how I love a freebie. I continued my work, massaging his gradually expanding wrench in one hand and fondling his hefty, uh, fuzzy uh, lug nuts in the other. Oh, oof, oh fuck. I took, uh, I took no time whatsoever for the uh, wrench to grow noticeably more uh, wrench-like and gradually proceeded further and further out until it was large enough to grab with both my hands. Hey, that's a big wrench. They gotta do some heavy-duty work. And break. Can't save it right here because I'd have to block out. I'd have to block the damn save for save profile. All right. Be that as it may, I needed but one of them for the task ahead. I continued to massage as and I and stroke as it grew to full size before reaching over to the shelf and grabbing a bottle of fur conditioner. Huh? What's that for? Lube. Trust me, don't wash. It doesn't wash away like that water-based stuff. Huh? You know from experience, I take it. Naturally. 
I smeared a thick layer of conditioner over, Diego, over Diego's wrench, causing it to flinch slightly. Jeez, it's a little cold. Let me help warm you up. I began, oh my god. I began to work once more with my, with my hand now gliding smoothly up and down, up and down the wrench. Despite the shower and conditioner, held, despite the shower the conditioner held fast, resisting the water and continuing to lubricate my movements. Damn, you weren't kidding. Mm. Hearing the sounds of Diego's growing pleasure, I accelerated my pace. He stood there, relaxed, enjoying the service, his breathing accelerating and his, uh, his wrench throbbing. Weird for a wrench to do. Picking up more speed, he began panting. He couldn't be far off now. I pumped and pumped, and then... That just happened. That just happened. <laughs> ah! He shot so hard against the shower wall that the impact was audible. What the fuck? This was followed by... Oh, man! What the hell? How much does his... How much does his jizz weigh? This was followed by the rest of his load. Considerable considerable quantity, no less. Oozing out onto the shower floor, we were picked up by the current and, and dragged into the fur surrounding both of our feet. Heh. Hope I didn't glue you to the floor. You say that as though I'd mind. <laughs> the two of us cleaned up cleaned up the aftermath and, sh and shared a warm shower together before drying ourselves off and, reti and retiring to bed. Man, I needed that. What a rough day. Oh, God. It's still visible. Needed it and deserved it. Congrats again, champion. As much as I could get used to being called that, I still don't quite consider that a win. Hey, shh. You've got the belt. Therefore, you definitely won, and it definitely wasn't a tie, okay? Definitely. Anyway, what do you think Ty has planned for this little celebration tomorrow? I don't suppose he mentioned anything. Not a thing. We're just gonna have to find out. Him and his goddamn secrets. Hey, at least it's something good, right? I mean, I hope so. Yeah, I'll let him off. Heh. <laughs> Still, what a day. I'm really proud of you for all of it. You did amazingly. Diego yawned dramatically before he spoke, lazily slumped in bed with his head half buried in the pillow. I just can't believe it's over. The competition and the rest of it. It's kind of like, what do I do now? Anything you want. You can find a new hobby, save up for a car. Hell, now that Kyrax isn't a problem, you can even go back to the gym. You can take up swimming or running. Take a leaf from Logan's book. Take a leaf from Logan's book and get creative. You can learn painting or even write a book. How about your degree? You can try to find a career in your field. Start doing... Diego? Nope. Oh, one second, y'all. Who is calling me? Hello? Speak to who? Uh, I think you have the wrong number. Ah, no problem. Bye-bye. This is not the residence of a man named Charles. <laughs> anyway. Diego? He'd fallen asleep. I suppose after such an arduous day, I could hardly blame him. Besides, he needed his rest for tomorrow's festivities. Tomorrow would be the first day of the rest of his life. The final words of this chapter had been written, and an entirely new chapter was about to begin. Good night, Diego. I love you. A small subconscious smile appears on Diego's lips as I snuggled up against him and closed my eyes, joining him in his blissful sleep. Day 20. Now I can save it. Are you sure this is a good idea? Wouldn't it be better to just, you know, leave it? I don't know. I just feel like... I don't know where we're at, you know? This whole thing feels kind of unfinished. That morning, Diego decided to meet with Kyrex more in an attempt to properly conclude the previous day's conversation, which he felt had been somewhat cut short by their obligations. Incidentally, this was an assessment Kyrex agreed with, thus resulting in our visit to none other than Jay's Cafe, per Diego's recommendation. It was a sufficiently neutral location for the both of them, and being somewhere public would help to ensure both parties run their best behavior. Of course, another key difference to the previous day's meeting was my presence and that of a certain waiter. And gentlemen, your beverages. Thanks, man. Thank you, Jay. My pleasure, as always, my delightful patrons. Now, did you not say this was a table for three? It would seem to me that you're one short. Yeah, the third seat reserved for a certain raptor. Uh, oh, oh dear. I do hope I won't have to break up any fights. Don't stress. We're cool now, I think. We're just sorting some things out, I guess. I'm relieved to hear that. Between all the, well, you know, punching, things did seem perhaps less hostile than I had anticipated. Your conversation no doubt did some good. A lot's happened. Ah, speaking of that, that's him arriving now. Good luck, gentlemen. Nervous? Nah, not really. I was yesterday, but I really feel like I have anything to worry about now. Yo, I'm a bit late. My bad. 
Herak sat down opposite Diego and myself, and there were a few moments of silence before both of them just spoke up at the same time. Both paused, allowing the other to speak before speaking again at the same time. Heh. <laughs> sorry, you go first. Right, so, how's things? I mean, we only spoke yesterday. I'm sore, I guess. Heh, <laughs> me too. You got some good hits in. As did you. There was silence between the both of them. Neither said anything for a while before Kyrex addressed me in an attempt to break the tension. You okay, Brian? Yeah. I decided to step in in order to keep the conversation moving. What exactly are you two getting at here? Are you trying to rekindle a friendship or something? Uh, no, I... Why would we? Herrick sighed. I mean, I've got, like, amends to make and all that shit. I guess I just want an opportunity. I guess the same goes. I didn't want to leave things how they were yesterday. As long as you two don't get the sh get the hots for each other. Heh, <laughs> not in a million years. There ain't enough money in the world to convince me. Besides, I've already got the best guy I could ever wish for. Heh, <laughs> heh. get a room. Heh, <laughs> we're making him uncomfortable, Brian. Anyway, so uh, we're, like, good, right? I mean, I wouldn't say we're friends or nothing, but yeah, we're good. Good, because, uh, I was kind of thinking about the whole talk and everything. How weird it was at the end there. Me too, honestly. It's kind of why I asked you to come here. I hated you for such a long time, but you kind of remembered how things used to be, eh? Yeah. Yep. Seriously, though, Woodcrest is a small place, and we know a lot of the same people. Running into one another is inevitable. You're right. Avoiding shit like the festival would be, I would be, well, ideal. And I guess, knowing what I know now, and knowing how I fucked up, I guess I understand, and I suppose I'm past holding it against all of you. Holding it all against you. Same, same kind of goes. I ain't been in those shoes myself, but I can see how this all happened. We were idiots. I think I can put my grudges aside, you know? Yeah, I want to do the same. Alright then, how about this? Kyrex stood up and held out his hand towards Diego. Good to meet you. I'm Kyrex. I don't do relationships, and I have no social skills. Diego chuckled before standing up and shaking Kyrex's hand. I'm Diego. I was a lovesick idiot so blinded by my own desperation I couldn't see the bigger picture. <laughs> Damn right you are, you idiot. Takes one to know one. Ha! <laughs> sure does. The two sat back down, still smiling slightly. Turning my head towards the kitchen, Jay was watching us intently, his head supported by his hands and his elbows anchored to the counter. He was smiling, clearly enjoying the performance. Aren't you going to order something to eat or drink? Nah, ain't got money for that. Huh. Hasn't your share of the prize money arrived yet? It has. Yours? Arrived in my account this morning. So, if you can't afford anything here, what exactly were you spending it on? Rent, electricity, overdue debt. Oh, that's right. You're out of work, huh? Yep, unless I find something, that's where the prize money's going. Diego scratched his chin deep in thought, a look of pity adorning his features. Oh, well, I guess this all means you'll be coming back to the gym, eh? I hadn't really thought about it. I guess there's not really any good reason not to, so long as I avoid certain times of the day. Heh, <laughs> yeah. Might walk into something you like, eh? Hell no. <laughs> but yeah, thanks to Brian here and Ty, I have a decent home gym now. But I'll keep it in mind. One second, y'all. Water time. Promise won't bother you if you do turn up. I appreciate it. So I guess we've said all there is to say, huh? Yeah, I guess so. All right, Ty's throwing a little celebration for my sort of victory, so Brian and I have to get head off. Cool, have fun. So, would you like to come along? Yeah, look at that. I'm being invited places already. I appreciate that, but I think I'll give it a miss. Too much explaining to do to everyone. I ain't got it in me. All right, I guess that means we'll see you when we see you, huh? So it does. You two don't go dying now, you hear? No promises, but we'll try not to. Heh, <laughs> good. Oh, excuse me. Jill and I stood up and made our way to the counter where Jay hoisted his backpack over his shoulders. Excellent timing. I'm off the clock now. We can head over to Ty's place together. Jeez, when did you change? That was fast. A good magician never reveals his secrets. Hey, would you mind doing one last work thing for me before we go? What is it? Send that raptor an omelet. Here. Diego reached into his pocket, pulling out a few bills to cover the cost of the food. You're ordering food for him now. What a turnaround. I'll pass it to the kitchen. Jules is taking over for me. So he'll serve it up when it's ready. Jay noted down the order and passed it through the window to the kitchen. All right, ready to go? Yep, let's get moving. Don't want to keep Ty waiting. The three of us departed the cafe together, Kyrex sending us a happy wave as we left. A wave all three of us returned. The situation was bizarre. I couldn't have expected such a quick turnaround, but I was glad. Diego could finally truly move on, and so could Kyrex. Eventually, the three of us arrived and were the last ones to do so. Ah, uh, yes, fashionably late. Well then, shall we split up and chat with the guests? Yep, sounds good to me. 
Jay departed before promptly joining Eric and Logan, who were together? Again? What was going on between those two? Diego, glad to see you. How are you feeling? Still a touch sore, I imagine. Heh, <laughs> I was making breakfast burgers this morning and couldn't even burn the buns properly. Handshaking like crazy. It is only natural. You fought with all your might yesterday and sin did so very well. Thanks. So, rumor has it the two of you met with Kyrex this morning. Eh? How'd you know about that? Please, I am nothing if not well connected. If anything happens, I am bound to find out. That being said, I know I know not how I know not how it went. We kinda wanted to wrap up what we talked about yesterday, sort of figure out what we're at where we're at. And well, we're good. I don't rightly know if you could call us friends, but there's no bad blood anymore. We're we're cool. Ah, I am most glad to hear that. It is the result I was hoping for all this time. Thanks to your meddling, everything turned out great. Diego rolled his eyes dramatically. Now, now, Diego, have I not already apologized? Besides, I made a commitment in staying out of your business that I intend to keep. Anyway, would the two of you care to mingle for a short while? I have a couple things I must prepare. Prepare? What have you got up your sleeves this time? Oh, please, do not worry yourself with that. Just have a good time. Ty quickly excused himself from the conversation before joining up with Lucas by a, by a lit barbecue as the two began speaking. He's up to something again. I can honestly, I can't honestly say I'm surprised, but I wouldn't worry too much though. He's probably just organizing the food or something. If he were only preparing food, he wouldn't be so secretive about it. Anyway, everyone's here. Shall we mingle? Yeah, let's do it. Oh. All right, guys and gals, I'm gonna go ahead and pause it right there. I've got some editing to do for this video. Anyway, y'all, thank you so much for watching. I love you all. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.